Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zan Ta of Reaper Products. This screencast will showcase how to create a custom profile for various uses within a Revit project. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zan Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Revit 2017. In the Recent Files window, I'll click New under Families and scroll down till you get to Profiles. There are several to work with. You have Profile, Hosted Profile, Mullion Profile, Rail Profile, Reveal Profile, and Stair Nosing Profile. Let's just use the generic one called Profile Revit Family Template File. I'll click Open, and you'll have two reference planes for you to work with right off the bat. They are Define Origins, checked, and they both are pinned down, which means the insertion point is right here. First thing you'll want to do is ask yourself what kind of profile usage is this for. So if we go to the Properties palette within the Create tab of the ribbon, click the Family Category and Parameters command. This will bring up the Family Categories parameter window, and it will ask you what section shape you might want to assign it to for structural purposes, or the profile usage. And if we click inside here, you can see it's for lots of different uses, uh, fascia, gutter, mullion, railing, reveal, and slab edge. Uh, let's do, and then there's a whole bunch more slab, nosing. They've actually uh, updated this in 2017 to include more. So let's pick something that makes sense to work with for this video. Let's do a simple gutter and hit OK. Now we can zoom in here, we can create the line work that we need to draw that custom gutter. So that's the insertion point, remember. So let's draw a sketch for a gutter to look something like this. Something pretty funky. And then also turn the lip a little bit. And then we'll use the pick method with an offset, say eighth of an inch, and do that. So let's clean this up a little bit. And finish drawing the line work that we need using trim to corner to clean this up delete that little line that we don't need, and then finishing the last bit right here. You know, actually, I'm going to take it out this way. That way there's a little piece that can be, uh, if you think of a shingle, you can place on top of that. So this is our sketch. And I did it very, very rough, so let's just look at it from the standpoint of how tall this thing is. And it's for, an, okay, that's fine. So roughly, it's the size that we want. So we'll say, save this as a family. We'll call it custom profile one, gutter, and hit save. Now we can use it in the project. We'll start a new Revit project. Architectural template is fine. We'll head over to uh, level two. We'll create a roof. And we'll just do a simple roof like this. And go look at this in 3D. Here's our roof. And if we head over to the roof command and expand it, you'll see roof gutter. Start that command and they give you one called gutter bevel 5x5. Five five. And if we pick that edge, that gutter is placed. Let's switch this to a hidden line and zoom in. And you can see the standard gutter that's being used. It's got that really interesting profile shape that everybody likes. How do we use our own that we just created? Well, we select the gutter that was created, and we can duplicate it, call it whatever we want, custom gutter one, hit OK. And if you go under profiles and click in here, you can see all the different profiles that are available. We did not load ours yet, so we need to load it. So I'm going to hit, hit OK to kick, uh, finish it. We'll toggle back to our profile and click load into project. Now that it's loaded, We'll go back to our custom gutter one and go in here and choose the custom one that we made. Now, if you look very carefully, you'll see that the creation of it 
uh, is a little off because it's on the inside, but that's okay. You can click this little arrowhead here and it'll flip the position, if you will. And there's that little lip that I made so that you can put something on top. So that's how you use and create a custom profile for gutter usage within a Revit project. Thank you very much for watching.